Hi, I'm Charlie from CookingSecretsForMen.com. Today, I am participating in the great collab, hashtag Don't Let Your Meatloaf. YouTube chefs from all over are sharing their favorite meatloaf recipes for this particular collab. So I am participating, kind of. We are moving and our house is in disarray. Boxes on top of boxes, including much of the kitchen stuff has been packed. So in true slacker tradition, I am breaking out a video I did about a year ago, which is the Instant Pot Meatloaf and Mashed Potatoes made in the pot-in-pot pot, uh, method. Uh, this pot-in-pot pot recipe, uh, the potatoes are boiled in the bottom of the Instant Pot, and the meatloaf is cooked in a round cake pan on top of the Instant Pot's trivet. So um, with this particular method, called pot-in-pot pot cooking, you can have this homemade double comfort food in under an hour. And because this is not a new video, I'm not going to mention Alton Brown and his website, which is rated below our recipe website, cookingsecretsformen.com. And that's on the list of the top 30 men's cooking websites on the internet. I will, however, give a shout out to John at Salt Pepper Fire. John is a, a great YouTube chef. He lives in Alabama and he's a barbecue enthusiast. He loves to smoke meat and a lot of variations involved with how to get the best out of uh, meat that you're smoking. He also has another interesting hobby, which is flying drones. Uh, maybe one day he'll fly a drone over his barbecue and give us a look both from straight on and then coming down. I think that'd be pretty cool. So here is our video entry into the uh, hashtag don't let your meatloaf collab. A lot of the others have been great so far. You should check them out, and I hope you enjoy ours. Here you go. Well, hello there. Today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to make meatloaf and mashed potatoes. That's not the different part. The different part is that we're going to do it in the Instant Pot. We're doing both at the same time. Have the potatoes on the bottom put a little trivet over top, and then the meat will go into a pan on the trivet, and they'll both cook at the same time. So we're gonna start by making the meat. This is about a pound of ground pork sausage, a pound of ground chuck. Uh, you wanna make sure you're using uh, the ground beef that has about 80-20 fat, because you wanna have a little bit of flavor. And the really lean ground beef is not gonna give you that flavor. Next, we're gonna add half a cup of breadcrumbs. These are Italian breadcrumbs, have a little Italian taste to this. Okay. And a third of a cup of whole milk. Okay. A tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. I'm trying to build flavor. All right, then we're gonna do a tablespoon of dried mustard. You can use uh, regular jar mustard, if you like. We'll put in about a teaspoon of French thyme. Okay, we're going to add in some basil. Continuing with our Italian spices, garlic powder, onion powder. Salt and pepper, some paprika, some onions, it's a chopped onion, All right. just an egg, put that in. Alright, so we're going to ground this together with our hands, 
get it with all the spices together. And once we do that, we're going to go over to the Instant Pot. All right, so we made our meat into a round loaf that's going to fit right into the Instant Pot. Let me show you what we're going to do. We have some Yukon Gold potatoes. You can probably use any kind of potato. But they're going to go right into the Instant Pot. Move you a little closer. And then we're going to add some water. For the most part, covering. We're going to add some salt. We have salt to water. Oil and salt to water. Stir this. Alright, got the potatoes down in the water. Comes with your Instant Pot is a trivet. So this trivet's just going to sit on top of the potatoes, just like that. The meat is going to go right on top. But before we do that, we're going to make a little sling. So the sling is just going to be some aluminum foil. We're going to fold it in quarters, and we're going to set it right here on the trivet. And then, this will go right in. And this will be what we lift up the pan when it's ready. So it just goes just like this, straight up. Okay? So we've got our potatoes, we've got our meat, and we're ready to start the Instant Pot. All right, so we've got our pressure set on high for 35 minutes. I'm going to put the top on. Lock it in place. And we're going to turn the little knob here on the back. Make sure that it's all the way closed. And the Instant Pot will heat. And when the pressure is right, the buzzer will go off and it'll start cooking. So we're going for 35 minutes. Once that's done, we'll be back. In the meantime, we're going to preheat our oven for 400 degrees because we're going to finish the meatloaf and get it crispy and put the topping on in an oven at 400. So while the Instant Pot is cooking our meatloaf and mashed potatoes, we're going to make a glaze that's going to go on top of the meatloaf once it's finished in the Instant Pot and we're going to finish it in the oven. So this is about a half a cup of ketchup ketchup. You can use cocktail sauce. You can use a lot of different things. We're using ketchup. This is two tablespoons of brown sugar, light brown sugar. Put that in. And this is the same two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Put that right in. Right. We're going to stir this together. All right, so that tells us it's been 35 minutes and we're going to do something called a natural release right now, which is a, another way in instant pot speak, we're saying we're not gonna do anything. So this button right here, we're going to, in 10 minutes, release it manually. But until then, we're gonna let the pressure kind of settle, and for, like I said, the next 10 minutes, it's just going to let go. So we'll be back in 10 minutes to release, and then continue on with our dinner. All right, it's been 10 minutes of a natural release, meaning we don't do anything. So we're going to do a manual release right now. This means I'm going to not touch this with my hands, but release it that way. And when this little button right here goes down, that means it's safe to take the top off and the pressure has dropped enough. All right, it's slowing down considerably. We're going to wait for that little silver button to drop down, and then we'll know it's safe to take the top off. There we go. All right. So, we will turn. We have our meatloaf. We got our little sling right here. We're going to unroll. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it on an oven tray and then we're going to take it over to the workbench and put on the glaze. Lobster claws. 
I'm going to just pull this straight up. As you see, worked perfectly, a little sling, and that's the meat love. So here are the potatoes. What we're going to do is drain these, and then we're going to make the mashed potatoes here in the Instant Pot. All right, so this is the meat loaf. I've drained a little bit of the grease off. And we're going to take our glaze that we made a little while ago and just slather it on top and fits nicely in the pan. So we're going to go ahead and put this in the oven at 400 degrees and we'll make the mashed potatoes while this is cooking. So while the meat is getting the glaze in the oven, we're going to go ahead and finish our mashed potatoes. So I've drained it. I'm putting in some salt. And then this is about one cup of half and half cream. And this is four tablespoons of butter. Put that right in. And we're just going to mash. Mash away. going to turn this to keep warm and potatoes will be ready when the meat comes out of the oven. All right, so we've got the meatloaf out, put it under the broiler for a minute, kind of caramelize everything on top. Here's our mashed potatoes. You can see they're steaming. We've got some green beans to serve with it, just like mom would do 100 years ago when we were little. She was going to cut a slice, just like you would, a little pie shape. Maybe put a little, little dab of the ketchup glaze on it. And there you have it. This is our meatloaf and mashed potatoes made in the Instant Pot. Green beans, not in the Instant Pot. Uh, we'll have more Instant Pot recipes to come. So I hope you enjoyed this. Until next time, thanks for watching.